one. At your request, I made a video about all the notes in Armon Paint. This is not an official git. I could be wrong. Let's start. Attribute node. This node gives access to attribute of your model. To make it clear, I switch to Blender. What are the attribute? For example, UV and vertex color. Here I have an object contained two UV and two set of vertex color. Let's look how the node works. Select a color channel, these are the vertex color. In the name field specify the name of the attribute that we want to get. Also, using this node, you can get the pointness and back facing parameter for the factor channel. Let's go to Armon Paint. To use vertex color, be sure to specify the parse vertex color parameter when importing an object. Unfortunately, only one set of vertex color and one UV can be loaded into Armon Paint. Also, pointness and back facing don't work. Camera data node. This node allow you to get data from the camera. Let's consider them. View vector. This is the vector under which your camera is looking. Divide it into three components. X, Y and Z. View Z depth. This parameter gives information about the depth of the camera. You end up with a black to white gradient. Those objects that are far from the camera will be black to that are close white but for some reason i don't see the gradient here view distance the situation is similar to the z depth but the gradient goes in a circle everything works right here layer layer mask and material nodes the nodes allow you to use maps that are in a layer in layer mask or a material respectively Threshold node and layer wave. The node allow you to get a gradient around the edges of the model depending on the camera view. But the nodes do not respond to camera rotation and you have to update the connection to get a correct result again. Geometry node. To more clearly show how this node works, let's go to a blender. Position. Provide information about the position of the shading point in the global coordinate system. See how the color change with different movement of the object. Normal. These are object normals, including smooth normals and bump mapping. True normal. When this option is selected, we get only object normals. Tangent. Surface tangent. Used primarily in anisotropic materials. Incoming. Vector pointing towards the point the shading point is being viewed from. For clarity, I will switch to the position and back. Now I hope the assigns is clear.
parametric divides the object into surface which its own UV coordinates. Pointness. This option allows you to get a curvature map of the model. Back facing. With this option, you can select the front and back side of the object. Now let's move on armor paint. The tangent parameter not works. There is no difference between normal and true normal. Parametric is also not clear what this should give here. Well, pointness and back facing don't work. Object info. Let's look at Blender again. This now allow you to get some parameters of the object. For example, object index. For clarity, I made such a bunch of nodes. Changing the path index parameter change the color of the object. Material index. A similar story, but the index change for the material. Random. Return a random while. Location. The location of the object in the world space. Let's go back to armor paint. Object index and material index don't work. Random work only if you assign it to each object separately. RGB node allow to set color in RGB, HSV and hex. Value node allow you to set the value. Texture coordinate node allow you to select texture coordinate. Generated automatically generated texture coordinate from mesh vertices without deformation. Normal. Object space is normal for texture object. UV. Coordinate of UV texture. Object. Use an object as a coordinate source. In this case, the beginning in the center of the object. Camera. Coordinate of the camera positioned in space. Window. The location of the shading point on the screen, ranging from 0.0 to 1.0, from the left to right and bottom to top. But it works here strangely. Reflection. In armor paint doesn't work. Similar situation with it coming, but reflected. Look, I switch between position, then incoming, and then reflection. Brick texture node, parametric brick texture, the second color for painting bricks doesn't work. Checker texture, create a checker texture. Gradient texture node, 
lets you create a gradient. There are four options to choose – linear, diagonal, radial and spherical. Image Texture – add a texture from a texture library. Magic Texture – this is procedural texture. Moose Graph Texture – this is procedural texture. Noise texture, procedural texture. Voronoi texture, procedural texture. Wave texture, procedural texture. Bright Contrast node. With this node you can adjust the brightness or contrast. Gamma node. Adjust a gamma. Blur Image node. Allow you to add blur. Work with image only. Hue Set Wall node – color transformation by hue, saturation and values. Invert node – the node inverts the color values. Mix RGB node. It mix input, whereas blending mode can be selected. Bump node. Generated a normal map from a height map. There are settings for strength and distance. It can also be blended with a normal map. Mapping node. The node allow you to adjust the repetition, transformation and rotation of the texture. Normal node. Split a normal vector into components X, Y, Z. Vector Curves node allow you to adjust the curves for the vector. I use it for increase the strength of the normal map, for example. Color Ramp node is used to distribute wildly by color using a gradient. RGB to black and white node. Convert color image to black and white. Separate RGB. Allow you to divide the image into component red, green and blue. Inverse of this node. Combine RGB node. Separate HSV node. Allow you to split the image Intro components Hue, Saturation and Value. Inverse of this node, combine HSV node. Separate X, Y, Z. Allow you to divide the vector into components X, Y and Z. Inverse of this node, combine X, Y, Z node. Math node. Node with a mathematical operation with a value. Vector math node, vector math operation. Let's go to the brush editor. 
Lazy Radius. This option allows you to smooth the path of the brush. Compare the two lines. Lazy Step. This parameter adjusts the density of the brush stroke. Image Texture. Allow you to load a texture for the brush. Let's take a look at the directional function. When activated, the rotation of the brush follows its direction. Stencil allow you to use the texture as a stamp. By pressing Ctrl you can manipulate the texture, scale and rotate. Random returns a random number. Vector set a vector by three components x, y, and z. Time brush parameter. I understand that using this parameter you can get a brush effect if you do not have a tablet. The time parameter is a time counter. For example, using it in math note, you can make uh, the effect of reducing and increasing the radius of the brush when painting. Delta parameter gives the minimum value of the parameter to which is assigned. Well, that's all for today. Thank you all and take care of yourself.